Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today I'll be talking about my December TBR. So this is a little bit ambitious because there is only actually two audiobooks on this list. The rest of them are all novels and it's Christmas time. Like it's, it's December leading up to Christmas. I have work, I'm doing Blogmas, which means I'm posting a post on my blog every day of December. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna get any of these read, but we will see. But these are the ones I would like to get read. So I'll start off first with the eBooks because I don't actually own a copy of these two. So first we have Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Bashadoust. This one, I honestly know nothing about it, but I am doing a Goodreads Choice Awards challenge for myself. So basically I'm trying to read as many books that were listed on the Goodreads Choice Awards in the YA fantasy sci-fi category as I can and then I'm gonna do my own Goodreads Choice Awards to see which one of those I think should have won. I am not reading all the books in that category because some of them are sequels to ones that I haven't read or I don't plan to read, especially like the Cassandra Clare books and stuff. I have no interest in them. And there was also one that I DNF'd which was um Oh, what the prequel to Hunger Games. I can't think of what it's called, but I did DNF that one. That one was also on the list, so not gonna read that one because I've already DNF'd it. I was just fucking bored, honestly. Girl Serpent Thorn is one of the books for this challenge, so I'm gonna be reading it no matter what. That's why I haven't bothered reading a synopsis. I kind of just want to go in not knowing anything. I know the cover is stunning. I've seen the cover everywhere on Instagram because everyone is obsessed with this cover. It is gorgeous. I Yeah. And one of the subscription boxes did do a, an edition of it, so I see that cover everywhere as well. But I haven't actually heard much about it, like much people actually talking about their thoughts on it. So I'm curious to see what I'm going to think about this one, but I am hoping to read it soon. I'm hoping to finish this challenge in either December or January. Fingers crossed, but we'll see. So next we have These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This is another one that's on the Goodreads Choice Awards challenge. And I did kind of have this on my anticipated TBR just because I've heard hype about it, but it is a romance because it is a Romeo and Juliet retelling based in, I think, Shanghai. So, I mean, I'm not a Romeo and Juliet fan. I'm not a Shakespeare fan at all, actually, for that matter. But I'm not a romance fan, so I don't know why I had this one really on my TBR. Well, on my anticipated releases list. But I did. So, we'll see. But I'm going to try and read it for the Good Read Choice Challenge. But... I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. So now onto the physical books I actually own. First we have This Vicious Cure by Emily Suvada. This is the third book to this Mortal Coil which I read ages ago and I still have not read this. I think this has been on my TBR for at least a year which is getting ridiculous considering how much I loved the first book in the series. I loved it so freaking much. I was obsessed with it and I love the second book. I still haven't read this. I don't know why, but I really want to get to it before the end of the year, so we'll see how I go. But if you didn't know, this model coil is a YA dystopian based on a disease that is spreading, and it follows the main character whose father was a scientist and he was. I don't remember if he was taken or kidnapped or killed, I don't know, but something happened to him and she had to try and escape, and yeah, chaos ensues. It is insane, honestly. It is absolutely crazy that <laughs> the first two books is just like one thing after another. You do not get a chance to rest, but it's also there is enough character development and like world building and stuff for you to understand what's going on. But it is also really action packed. So I loved it. But I'm debating whether I should reread the first two on audiobook before I pick this one up because it has been a while. So like I remember what happened, but I don't remember the little details. So I might reread them via audiobook but we'll see. But I do really want to try and get to this one in December. Next we have two short books that I thought I would throw in here. I'm trying to get to my Goodreads goal of 150 books. So I'm definitely going to be reading some graphic novels between now and the end of the year, but I don't have any of them on my TBR. I don't know which ones I'm going to read. I'm just probably just going to go on a scribe and whichever ones I see read because I want to get to my Goodreads choice goal. Uh, my Goodreads choice. Goodreads goal. Nothing to do with the Goodreads choice awards. So this one is The Game by Lindsay Miller and honestly... All I know about it is there's this game that's played at this school, I think like every year or something, and it's called Assassin, and basically you get a target and you've got to like do something to them. I don't know what you have to do with them. It doesn't exactly explain it in the synopsis. All it says is school is a safe zone. You can only be eliminated if you're alone. I don't know how you're eliminated, whether you're found. I don't know. I don't know how, know how it works. But this year, the game is a lot more real because someone is picking off people in alphabetical order. 
So, sounds like a mystery, sounds very reminiscent of some of my favourite mystery thriller type books, so I'm super interested in this and it's like, is this big? It's, how many pages is this? Just over 200 pages, like 220 pages, so this paper is really thin so it, it does have more pages than it looks like it has, but it's still a short book so I'm super keen and I really enjoy Lindsay Miller's writing. I've read, um, where is it? Oh, sorry, that side. Mask of Shadows by Lindsay Miller and I really enjoyed it. Still haven't read the sequel though. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of sequels I still haven't read and I don't know why. They're all sitting over my TBR shelf. I just haven't read them yet. Hopefully I'll be able to get to this one, but it is one of the short ones, so I'm planning on like prioritizing that so I can get my Goodreads goal done. We'll see. So next we have Over the Woodwood Wall by A. Deborah Baker. I always say Deborah A. Baker. But this one, basically these two kids are going to school and climb over some wall into another world. And it's described as an impossible land filled with mystery, adventure, and the strangest creatures. I'm very intrigued. This is a middle grade, and it is, again, super short. Wait, is this the same author as, De as Shauna Maguire? Like, is this the same person? Like, I know she's got another alias. But is this also Shauna Maguire? Because on the back of the book, it says Maguire has an uncanny knack for taking the worst things that lurk in shadows and weaving them into an absolute delight. That's a quote by Becky Chambers. And then someone else says Shauna Maguire. Someone else says Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna Maguire. I didn't realize this was Shauna Maguire. But I'm very intrigued now because I love Every Heart of Doorway. And I also read... I can't remember what it's called, but Day, Dusk, Dawn, some... I'll put the cover on the screen. I can't remember what order the freaking words are in. But I also read that and really enjoyed it. I'm super excited about this now. I might pick this one up soon. Okay, so now I have another one that I honestly don't know nothing about. I don't know nothing. That was... that contradicted itself. I don't know anything about. All I know is I like the author, and the cover is fucking stunning. Like, what 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 is this cover it is like all this is like made out of little petals and like what even the back it is honestly gorgeous like this cover just blows me away i actually posted a photo of this on my instagram like just just this with like my bookshelves really dark in the background because like this is all you need to see it is stunning but yeah honestly i know nothing about this i've heard i think one person talking about it i'm like oh yeah that sounds intriguing but I can't remember what that was and I honestly don't want to know I just kind of want to go into it but it says the forest took everything from her now it's her only hope that said that just there I really don't know but I I'm very intrigued it's also got reviews from Emily A. Duncan Natalie C. Parker and Margaret Rogerson I loved Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson not a huge fan of Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan but you know and I haven't read anything by Natalie C. Parker I don't think she's the author of Sea Fire isn't she Yes, I haven't read that. I am very intrigued, and this is just stunning, and I honestly can't wait. But I love Ashley Poisson's writing. I love her Once Upon a Con series, and I've also read the first book. What's it called? Oh, Heart of Iron. I've also read Heart of Iron and really enjoyed it. I haven't picked up the sequel yet, but I do have it on my TBR. So I'm so keen to see what world she creates next. Mm, I just smacked myself in the hat. And we have another one that I don't know anything about, besides the fact that... It's a dark Cinderella retelling. We have Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron. And we also have a person of colour as Cinderella. You know, intriguing. And this one is also reviewed by Bridget Camera, who I love, okay, so dark and lonely. So, very intrigued. It's been 200 years since Cinderella found her prince, but the fairy tale is over. I, I am very intrigued by this. I don't want to know anything about this. All I want to know is that it involves Cinderella and it is dark. That's all I want to know. And... This is also on the Goodreads Choice Awards Challenge that I made for myself. This one and the next one, which is the last book I'm about to talk about, they're both on the challenge. So I was going to read this one anyway. I did own this copy before I decided to do the Goodreads Choice Award Challenge. But I am going to try and listen to this one on audiobook. This is one of the audiobooks. I didn't even mention that. We're now talking about audiobooks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and listen to this one on audiobook as I have it on Audible. So hopefully it's good. But it looks really interesting. And like this cover is also beautiful. What is with beautiful covers? Like... There is only, like, on this TBR, the only ones that aren't necessarily a beautiful cover is this, like, this is interesting, but it's not, like, a beautiful cover. And this one is, like, it's pretty plain. Like, it's cool, but it's, it's not a beautiful cover. All the other ones are stunning. And, like, every single cup, every single book that is on, out of the books that I am going to read for the Good Read Choice Award Challenge are all stunning covers. Like, the only one that's kind of, like, is Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. 
put the rice and raw stuff in. And this is the last one that I'm going to talk about. This one I'm also planning on reading on audiobook, and that is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. I have read... I think I started two of Marie Lu's series. I've read Warcross. I haven't continued on to Wildcard, but what's her other series? I'm pretty sure I've read The Young Elites, like just the, the book, The Young Elites, not the series. And I think I've read the first two books in the Legend series, maybe three. But yeah, so this is the next one I'm reading. I don't know too much about this. All I know is it evolves music. It says two siblings, two brilliant talents, but only one Mozart. So basically we follow this girl. This is set in 18th century Europe and we follow this girl who wants to be a composer. However, composing is forbidden until you can do it up until your marriageable age. And that is coming quickly until a stranger turns up, a mysterious stranger from a magical land appears with an irresistible offer. So I'm very intrigued. Um, it does say two siblings, but it only really talks about one. It mentions that she has a brother, but I don't know what his role is gonna be. It doesn't say, what is this? Oh, there's like a map in the back. I just noticed there was like a black piece here. Yeah, there's a map. Usually maps are in the front. Oh, there is a map in the front, but it's, it's a different map. Interesting. So yeah, I'm very intrigued about this one. I'm very keen to see what this mysterious land is and everything that he promises. Marie Lou spins a lush, lyrically told story of ma music, magic, and the unbreakable bond between a brother and sister. So very intrigued about this one. And it is also on the Goodreads Choice Awards challenge. So I would have been reading it anyway, but this one I did purchase before that challenge and I did plan on reading it before that challenge. So that is all the books I plan to read in the month of December. Well, I'm hoping to read, we'll see. Again, it'll just depend on what I have time for, but I am hoping to get to at least some of these. So wish me luck. I will be trying to vlog throughout December and post on my YouTube, obviously. Where else would I post it? Here. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. But anyways, that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.